Well, good afternoon, everyone. So today is Thursday. I have one more day to go before it's Friday. Yahoo, baba, yahoo. I'm driving home from work. Uh, I had a pretty good day today. Pretty good day. I'm pretty happy. I um, ended up only working, um, well, I worked eight hours, but I took a half hour for lunch so that I could leave at four o'clock. It was a good decision. Now tonight I have a Weight Watcher meeting that starts in about an hour. So I had to stop at the store to get a few items. One of which I picked up were some multivitamins. Now, do you guys have any suggestions on a good multivitamin to take? I think I should be having a multivitamin. The last time I had my labs drawn, I think I was kind of low in my calcium. And as I get older, I definitely don't want to have low calcium because I don't want that to play a part or have a contribution in osteoporosis. So, yeah, I deal with a lot of patients or a lot of my population of patients um, end up having some osteoporosis issues. And so, I don't want to be one of them. However, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be in denial about the fact that when I get older, I'll probably have some osteoporosis issues or arthritis or some bone issues, but um, I just don't want it any earlier than I need to. So I think good bone health requires some vitamin D, some calcium. You can get it in your diet, but I'm also probably going to try to find it in a, in a multivitamin. I bought, oh gosh, what was it, 100, 150 um, gummy vitamins. Um, when I looked at their, on the listing on the back, it was two capsules, um, which would equal one dose of a vitamin, which I think, or I mean, of vitamins, and one of, and calcium is one of them, and I think one capsule is 100 milligrams, or is it 200 milligrams? But then for two capsules, then it would be 200 milligrams or 400. I'd have to just double check the label on that. But that is a good goal and a good start. I haven't been taking a multivitamin up to now. I used to take it, but then I stopped. So now I think it's just good to get back into the practice and in the habit of doing that. So last night was the first night that the ride started in, at the fair here in my city. Um, and that would have probably been the only night that would work for our family to go to the fair this week. So yeah, it wasn't a good night for us, so we just didn't go. But um, this weekend, a neighboring city is going to have their festival, their summer festival, so we will more than likely go there. And that'll be nice. And plus, one of our favorite bands is going to be singing. They're called Boogie and the Yo-Yos, and they're really good, and they're a cover band, so they play a lot of good music, and I just love listening to their music. Holy cats, this is the fairgrounds right now. You probably can't see it in my, my viewfinder here, but it is busy here. There's lots of cars, lots of people walking. This is probably not the best street to drive down. What can you do? Um, I'm here. I gotta, I gotta own it now. So I just got to be on the lookout for small children crossing my intersection here. And I don't see any, so I'm going. But it's a beautiful day to be at the fair today. It's gorgeous weather. I wish I was off today. I could be outside enjoying this weather. Um, let's see. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about briefly here on my way home. I only have like less than a mile. Um, is the fact that summer goals or goals in general. Let's talk about goals for just a second. Do you guys have any goals that you know that you want to complete, like a certain weight that you want to take off, a certain amount of steps in per day, um, like an end goal, a bigger goal? For me, for example, I know that we're going to Tampa, Florida for Thanksgiving. So that's, um, I guess, September, October, November, about three months away. And I, I would love to get down to, I would like to lose my first 10% of my body weight by then. Which, if I'm not giving too much uh, information away in this, um, that would be a total of 21 pounds. And I'm already down 9 pounds. So I think I can do it. 
That means I have another, mm, how many pounds more? I was never good at math. 21 minus 9, 11, 10, 9. So that's what, 13 more pounds left? 12 or 13 pounds? Um, so that's exciting. That's my goal to lose 12 to 13 pounds between now and Thanksgiving, which is approximately three months away. Approximately. Today is the 23rd. Thanksgiving is actually the 22nd of November. So, yeah, three months. So do you guys have any goals? Do you have anything that you're striving for like that? Like a, a certain number that you can place on it and within a certain time frame? I mean, this, this is considered a SMART goal because it's something that is um, something that you can measure. And I am just, you know, really interested in losing that first 10%. My big goal that I would like to foresee for myself is that I would like to just feel a little bit, little bit more comfortable wearing a, a bathing suit. Not feel competent, but feel a little better. And um, so yeah, that's that's my goal. That's what I'm gonna be working towards. Um, now I'm home. I'm thinking about filming just a little bit of my time at my meeting tonight. As long as I don't show any specific person's face, I think it should be okay, right? Um, but you can kind of get the layout of uh, my meeting at Weight Watchers and you can see for yourself um, what my meeting room looks like when I go to my weekly meeting. All right, we will see you in a bit. Okay, so the meeting is already in progress. We're gonna be coming in and we're gonna be quiet. She doesn't look separate for everyone. She doesn't eat. And she'll come in and she'll go, Miss Carl, I'm so hungry. She just got these giggles so hard. Just this uncontrollable giggles. I mean, we were all just laughing to the point where because I was crying because she was. It's and it's like, you know, when you when you talk about, you know, it says to write down and describe it in as much detail. I think, you know, that helps. this window up. I went to my meeting <laughs> and I showed up just a bit late. I'd say I was about five to seven minutes late and the leader for tonight who was a fill-in um, was just a little quick to want to leave. So I didn't really get the, the whole meeting's worth. Um, the topic tonight was gratitude and you know, like talking about what we're thankful for. I didn't pick up one of the weeklies, which kind of has all the information in it. So I kind of feel like I missed out on the meeting tonight because I don't really have much more to go on other than I know the topic was gratitude. So if any of you ladies down there or gentlemen um, could help me by filling in some of the details as to um, other than gratitude, what the main point of the meeting was tonight, or secondary meet, you know, points of the meeting, that would be helpful. <laughs> I'm taking my walk tonight, and I just have to say, big huge shout out to um, a healthier re, because I was watching her channel this morning, and it was her video from yesterday, and she went on a walk, and she listened to her praise music, um, like her Christian music, and that's the music I love to listen to. And I took her advice, I decided to put it on my station and just listen to it on my nighttime walk. So I'm doing that now and it is an amazing mood lifter. So I am just so thankful that I took her advice because I don't always need the thumping, jumping, you know, music that I sometimes listen to. And this is exactly what I needed tonight on my nighttime walk. So thank you, Ree. All right, people, so now I am home for the rest of the night. I had a great walk. I had a great day. Tomorrow is my weigh-in, and I really don't think it's going to go well, but I'm just going to keep a positive attitude, and if it doesn't go well, then I'm not going to beat myself up. I hope that you guys all have a good rest of your night. Take care of each other, take care of yourself, and get fit. We'll see you tomorrow.